Hi guys, my name is Steven. Uh, this is my first attempt at an After Effects tutorial. Uh, this is going to be a two-part series. Part one is going to be about displacement maps and a simple project to get you used to that. And that will lead into uh, the second part, which is using displacement maps to give uh, particles in After Effects the effect that they're uh, spinning or flickering uh, while they're flying in the air, which you really can't do in um, the particle effects in, in After Effects, so we're going to be doing some simulations um, with that. So uh, let's get started. Okay guys, this is what we're going to create first, and I know it's it's nothing really special, but it's, it's just a flag flapping in the wind using displacement maps. Um, I know it's kind of cheesy, but if you look at all the really good uh, motion graphics stuff, once you get the basics of After Effects, you can pretty much do uh, whatever they're doing. It's all um, basic stuff, just magnified with talent. Um, so this is what we're going to do. There. All right. Now we got our flag. Now let me just neaten everything up here. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Okay. How displacement maps work? Okay, um, when you displace something, you have to have the comp that you're displacing pre-sized in another comp. Okay, to show you what I mean, let's do my original one here. And so we got a flag, and it's flapping in the wind, looking all pretty. Okay, let's go up here. And we'll find the original flag. Flag precom. There we go. Okay, bring that down here. Let's turn off that flag. Uh, and we'll put a displacement map. Start displacement. And we'll use displacement. Okay, so now we got. You know, it's kind of small, so we'll, we'll turn up the vertical displacement. And so you get, you know, definite displacement there. Okay, so now if we take the flag, uh, flag precom and we scale it down you'll notice that the displacement scales down with the flag regardless and this is the size of the displacement so the displacement's pretty big and you notice the offset of the displacement because it was scaled down okay let's scale the flag back up again and you'll notice now that's scaled up the displacements match displacement map and the actual displacement of the flag map match. So basically what you have to do is we're going to pre-comp the pre-comp. Okay, and we're going to alt double left into it and we're going to scale it down. So when we go back into our main comp, the flag uh, displaces correctly and that's what you want to do. So let's get rid of this and go back to where we were. Let's clean this up a little bit. That's our flag. Okay, so we'll just take this flag. Okay, so you have to pre-comp this before you scale it because if you scale everything, this is what happens. Okay, come on. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't quite work. So what we have to do is pre-comp everything. And we'll call this flag. All right, now that we want our flag pre-comp. And we can scale this down. Scale it down smaller. Yeah, say about 45 is good. OK, now that we have it scaled down, we have to pre-comp it one more time in order for us to get correct displacement. So let's pre-comp it again. I'll call this flag displace. Alright, now we'll make our displacement. So new solid. And we'll make it white. Let's Okay, and we'll take this white solid and we'll scale it down. That looks good. And we'll 
just animate this back and forth. So let's go to the position, set time, keyframe, move this bad boy all the way over here. All right, got the keyframe. Now we got got our white. Okay. Now let's go to the flag, flag displace. If anyone, this is a, a nice little shortcut. You go up to the effects control, right click brings up your effects, and you can just go down. It saves you time for going up to the uh, up to the um, menus and and fuddling around up there. So let's see here, and we'll go down to displacement map, and we will select white solid, and we'll bring the vertical vertical displacement up. It's about wow. now if you notice when we do the vertical displace the whole flag is moving and you're probably wondering why the heck you know that's doing that when there's nothing over to displace it well the displacement map effect looks at um, I guess it's the alpha value of the entire um, solid that you're using as a displacement so even though this is scaled down it's still looking at the entire alpha for the entire solid. So even though white solid 8 is um, being used as a place, displacement map, put that right over top, we'll click off, and you'll notice nothing is happening because the displacement is being based on the entire white solid. So what we got to do is now we have to uh, pre-comp the solid okay and now let's turn it off there we go because now it's looking at the alpha value which there is now an alpha value on on the um, uh, white solid 8 comp let's just rename this cost displacement map let's get rid of this get rid of that okay so we got this going on here now let's uh, alt, alt double click and there and we'll make this because the displacement's kind of harsh on the flag obviously we don't want to do that but it could be a cool effect for something um, what we're going to do is go going to scale rescale this back 100 and let's see here let's get rid of the animation we got going here this back in the center. Okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to add a mask. Okay, zoom out. Add a mask. There we go. And to fit. And we're going to double M on the mask. Bring up, use a feather. Um, bring out the feather. And because the alpha value of this is a gradient going from nothing to completely solid, it's going to see this as a gradual ramp up, um, as you'll see in just a second. So now we have to animate the position of the mask. So we got this going here. <coughs> so let's go back to our main composition where we have the flag, and we have the displacement map. You can turn that off so you don't you don't have to see that. Uh, you got the flag, the displacement map. You want to displace the vertical, which is going. Uh, top to bottom. If you displace the horizontal, if I play, displace the horizontal, you'll notice you'll get some stretching along the flag. Again, that might be a cool effect too, but we don't want that right now. So, as you notice, the nice ramp up and ramp down due to the uh, gradient of the alpha. Okay, so that's how you make a uh, waving flag and we're going to use some of the uh, ideas that we have here about the displacement map and we're going to put it into our tutorial number two in our two-part series okay hope you had fun thanks a lot guys I'll see you in a bit